Sun Moon Rising and Venus. Welcome to another reading with yours. This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. If you donate a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. We have the Five of Wands in reverse here, okay? So overall, I feel like there's someone here who's giving up on a situation that creates a lot of drama and chaos. Okay, you're giving up on the situation, Aries. Could be you, could be them. But someone thinks something's too much of confusion, there's too much arguments, bickering, pettiness, okay? But you're giving up on a situation where you guys are just not on the same page and you're done fighting, okay? Three of Swords in reverse is how you see yourself. So you see yourself healing from a situation, healing from a breakup or a lot of emotional distress, a lot of pain and anxiety that you went through with this person. So clearly there's been a breakup or a separation between you guys, even probably a divorce doesn't have to be. This person is, you know, they're left in the dark. This person is losing faith, hope, and they're just lacking optimism when it comes to this um, connection out here. You view this person as the three of pentacles, so probably you view this person as someone you can really be badass with, okay? You guys can really make a good couple, you guys can really work out together and be on a good, uh, be on the same page, you guys can literally collaborate and work and build together, okay? You see a lot of potential with this person here. This person here views you as someone with the nine of wands, so they view you as someone who's very frustrated, exhausted, tired, and fed up of trying to make something uh, work out with them. But they still see you as someone holding on, still not giving up, okay? Uh, why is all this happening is because of the Six of Pentacles. So someone out here wants a balanced relationship here, equal reciprocity, equal give and take here, okay? Like 50-50, meet me, meet, me, meet me halfway. Action you plan on taking is the Queen of Pentacles. So I don't feel you are still wanting to offer this person your um, your coin, your pentacle here. Because I feel this is what you want, okay? And I think you're very focused on yourself, focused on your career, your goals. Not in a selfish way, but I feel that this is what your focus is. Your focus is more like where you're truly wanting to invest into a person or a situation which can literally grow, okay? You're nurturing, caring for yourself right now, but you're definitely wanting something traditional, okay? And um, I feel you're just very uh, busy right now with your work and home balance, okay? But I feel like you're just wanting to uh, have something more committed, solid, okay? You want marriage with this person. But I don't think there's any action from your side. What this person is, action is page of cups. This person's coming towards you, okay? This could be emotional communication. This could be wanting to open up emotionally. This could be uh, wanting to apologize to you. But the outcome here is that no matter how much you try to end things with this person, with the death in reverse here, this person is not gonna let you go. Okay, they're not letting you go. This person's resisting a huge change on a mental, physical, 3D level or on a spiritual level, okay? They know they need to make a certain change in order for you guys to come together on the same page, okay? To come towards you, correct. But they still won't do it. They want to keep holding on to you and keep coming towards you as a page and a knight, etc., okay? You see so much potential with this person here, but it's just not the kind of person that you're dealing with. You're showing up as a queen, they're showing up as a page. Okay, you're showing up as a pentacles, queen of pentacles, and you're wanting something very stable, right? Something that has potential, something that's tangible, sustainable. They're showing up as someone who's just new to love, okay? So that's the difference here. That's why they just don't get you, you know. Why is the five of wands in reverse here as the overall situation? So you've given up on this for now, okay? Why is the five of wands in reverse here as the overall situation? Yeah, this was a once a very fulfilling relationship, or this is exactly what you wanted, okay? But things just went south, and um, things didn't turn out to be the way you actually dreamt of, dreamt of it to be. The Ring of Cups is a fairy tale card, right? It's like, oh yeah, I have everything that I need, okay? It's a very happily ever after card here. But now, what happened is after a moment, this was a relationship that started draining you out emotionally, and uh, you finally chose to love yourself rather than invest into this relationship. Because it's just not making you happy. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse here? It could also be that you gave up on the idea of wanting this happily ever after with you because you guys were just not being able to collaborate, okay? Too many conflicts, probably too much interference, you know? You guys have two different mindsets, you guys have contradictory beliefs, anything. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? Ace of Cups, and I think you're wanting to choose yourself. You're choosing yourself, you're wanting to love yourself. There is a lot of love here. There is a lot of love here. But I feel that Aries, you're choosing yourself and you're wanting to 
move towards love you're still open to love here okay but i feel that it's not open to loving this person here because if you don't see the potential if you're not getting what you want you're ready to love yourself and ready to move on and look into some other potential but ace of cups also tells me that there's a lot of love here from this person's side but you guys just are having a tough time getting this person to open up three of swords in reverse is how you see yourself why is that why is three of swords in reverse here you're watching this person from a distance okay you're keeping an eye on them you know you're watching what they're doing probably you're waiting for this person to come towards you and communicate is what i'm getting but i don't think you're making a move towards them okay you're just probably you're just doing a little bit of spying stalking just to see what they're up to but not really anything of interest but uh, i don't think you're communicating with them i think you're waiting for them to come towards you what's the page of swords in reverse look at them as very light of ones here yeah see you have a lot of passion for this person here okay you do you have a lot of passion for this person here but it's just that it could also mean that you could see this person as someone who's very in and out very insincere you know someone who's just got you know so what happens here is with the knight of wands here when this person comes in right the knight of wands is someone you know who's, who comes in with full power right so this is someone here who just uh they, they come in they go in all in, they go all in and then they go all out because they need a break right they go in and they give in all they have they talk a big game but it's not like really uh, sustainable they have a lot of passion but they're very inconsistent okay they come in as fast as they go that's the problem here it's a very casual kind of an energy here okay very rushing in and out but yeah they fly by in the night i don't think that's what they're doing with you but it's just that they have a lot of passion for you that's how you see them okay but you're just waiting for them to come towards you why is the sun in reverse here this is how they see themselves they see themselves in the dark why is the sun in reverse here Knight of Cups, they have a lot of love for you. Okay, they do. The love is there. They want to sweep you off your feet. Okay, they want to be vulnerable. They want to open up to you. Then why won't they do it? Give me one more card for the Knight of Cups. Actually, give me one card for the Sun in Reverse. Why is the Sun in Reverse here? Why is the Sun in Reverse? Maybe they're just losing hope and they're not being able to see the positives that things can still work out between you guys. Because with the Death in Reverse, it looks like you've ended things for sure with them. Why is the Sun in Reverse? Or oh, they think things have ended. Two of Swords, yeah. See, they're stuck in their head. This person out here, they're stuck in their head. They don't know what to do about this. They're they're very being very indecisive right now. You know, like I think this person is someone here who's being more avoidant to the problem. They're not facing their fears, okay? And they're not wanting to be vulnerable. But the love is there. It's there. And that's the problem here. Because they won't communicate, because they won't, there's a lack of illumination, because of which they just are not being able to look at the positive side of the relationship, or not being able to feel that something good can come out of this. They're lacking hope here, you know? They're lacking hope. They're still not, con they're not focusing on what truly makes them happy. Let's see. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why do you view them as the Three of Pentacles? Ace of Swords. Give me one more card for the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you want commitment with them, okay? And with the Ace of Swords here, I feel somewhere, somehow, either you want clarity from this person here, okay? Or you are very clear about what you want. What you want is that the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? You want marriage with this person and you are dead serious about this. And you're dead sure that you want this and you want nothing less. And you feel with the Three of Pentacles here, you guys can work together. You guys can come together and you can build something potentially very, very solid and very committed here. But with the Ace of Swords here, it's like, you know what? You want to cut through the bullshit with them. Okay? It's like, come on, just get to the point here. No matter how harsh or how blunt the truth is, that's what you want. You want to break through with them, okay? Because you have a lot of love for them with the Queen of Cups here. You have a lot of deep love for them. You have a lot of deep emotions for them. But the problem here is with the Queen of Cups and them showing up as a page of cups here, they're just not on the same level. At least not energetically. Okay? 
you definitely view them as someone you want to break through with okay you want a brand new start with them but however this start is you want the start to be very truthful very honest okay a lot of integrity and like you want everything to be on the table how does this person view you nine of wands why is that why does this person view aries as the nine of wands they view as very guarded not wanting to be vulnerable fed up tired exhausted beaten wounded warrior kinds but still not giving up this, you see you're still holding on tight, probably even waiting for them to come towards you. Yeah, that's how they view you. They view you as someone who's waiting for them to come towards you. Why is the nine of wands here? Seven of swords, yeah. They see you as someone who has a lot of love for them, but you're doing five of swords in reverse. Yeah. So clearly this person sees you as someone who's given up on the situation. Okay. This person this person realizes okay that they were they didn't trust you all this while they realized that they um they were deceiving you okay and um this person has constantly sabotaged the connection and they realize that they realize that okay they realize that they've always wanted to win and in that approach they've landed up sabotaging what they really wanted and which was you yeah now they see you as someone who's just walking away because you're fed up you're tired you're just done with their games yeah you're 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 just like you know you're accepting that defeat you're giving up and you're just surrendering to you know and just walking away from them because you're done seven of swords they know that you have a lot of love for them okay but they know that you're not being honest about it you're not being completely honest about what you feel or what your intentions are because you're probably blocking communication with them. Yeah, see nine of wands, you're not talking to them, you block them out completely from your life. And that's how they see you. What's the six of pentacles? Why is this, why is all this happening? Six of pentacles, please. What's the six of pentacles? Eight of cups in reverse, someone wants to come back. This person tried to walk away from you, okay? I'm getting someone that you're dealing with, Aries, who tries to run away from their emotions, okay? They try to run away from the feelings that they have for you. They're wanting to come back. They're wanting to get this balanced relationship, okay? They're stressing a lot about it. You're on their mind on a constant basis. One more card for the Eight of Cups in Reverse. Eight of Cups in Reverse, please. Why is this here? Yeah, but there is no talking. There's no talking. This person is holding back. This person wants everything with you, okay? They want to balance things out. They want to, you know, um, they love you. They can't move away from you. They can't give up on you, you know? But the problem here is that there's been like this screeching hot here, okay? Things were moving too fast. You guys were going back and forth with communication. Things were picking up, okay? But now all of a sudden here, someone's just pulling away or holding back communication, okay? Or this person could be someone who's just keeping on blocking things between you guys, distancing, distancing themselves or ignoring communication on purpose, okay? They're creating their own delays here. I feel this person is not in a rush. This person is wanting to come towards you, but they're not in a rush. I'm just getting that. Because look, they all, their intentions, that's all what they want. They're coming back. They want to come back. They love you. They want to balance out this relationship. They want to give you what you deserve. But they're just not in a rush, is what I'm getting. They have that realization, okay? But see two of swords here. They're not making a decision. They won't make up their mind. And you, on the other hand, here, you're pretty confident and sure of what you want. All right, tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is this the action you plan on taking towards this person? The tower here. You had a sudden epiphany, okay, with the tower here. There's a huge realization that you've had, okay? The tower is usually an epiphany, a realization of some sort, right? Something that all of a sudden makes you realize that, oh, like, like, duh! Like something like that, okay? But um, I feel there is some kind of um, sudden change in your mind, okay? Maybe this person has made you wait for a very long time and now overnight you've just had this um, attitude of you no longer give a shit or you no longer care about this person anymore. Tell me more about the tower. Tell me about the tower. 
Wow! Wow! This person's coming towards you. What the fuck? We have the queen and the king here. I think this person's coming towards you. This is a true pair situation, guys. They're coming towards you with wanting something long term for sure. I think that's the kind of communication that's coming towards you because this person won't let you go. Look at that. It's going to be very unexpected. It's going to be very unexpected. It's going to be out of the blue. It's going to be some unexpected shocking news. This is going to be like someone, you know, who's, I mean, gone through a huge epiphany, you know, after a separation or breakup and then they realize like, what the fuck? I just wanted, this is what I wanted with Aries. They're coming towards you. Okay. But the problem here is that when they come towards you, I'm just not sure about whether you're going to take them back or you're going to accept them. You know why? Because with the Queen of Swords in reverse here, I think you waited too long for this person to come in. By this, look, you can see Eight of Wands in reverse here. They're waiting. They're waiting. Okay. They're holding back. They keep you on hold for a very long time. So I think by the time they come in with that offer of wanting something stable, something committed, something long term, it's just going to be a shock for this per for, for this person who's coming towards you. You know, because I think you're just going to be like, you're going to shock the hell out of this person with your reply is what I'm getting. Why is the page of cups here? Why is the page of cups here is the action that this person plans on taking towards Aries? See, they make you wait is what I'm getting. I'm really surprised I don't see the temperance here. Why is the page of cups here? The devil in reverse. This person has constantly sabotaged the connection between you guys. They realize that, okay? But they're coming towards you, getting out of that sabotaging energy. They're releasing or breaking free from any toxic mindset, place, person, temptation, fear, obsession, addiction, codependency, codependency, anything, okay? They're getting out of that. They're releasing the fear and they're coming towards you, okay? Give me one more card for the devil and reverse. Give me, actually, tell me more about the page of cups. What's this communication going to be like? What's the page of cups? <laughs> Seven of Cups. They're confused. See, that's what the fucking hold up is, right? That's what the hold up is. Two of Swords, Seven of Cups here, okay? That's constant confusion. You have so many options in front of you, but you just don't know which is the right approach or which is the right option for you or are you doing the right thing? You're just keeping, th they're just keeping things on the edge here, okay? And you seem to be quite fed up waiting for this person here. Not like I'm saying you're waiting for them, but it's just like you're like, you know what, never mind. I'll just do me, you know. Not like you're, again, I'm not getting that you're waiting for them. They're, they're very confused, okay. They're thinking about you. I feel what's happening here is the Seven of Cups to me is more about dreaming, okay. It's like a lot of wishful thinking, dreaming, but no action. Why is the death in reverse here? So energetically, they're still not going to let you go. Death in reverse, please. What's the death in reverse? Strength in reverse. Okay. Let me use my card for the death in reverse and strength in reverse. Why is the death in reverse and strength in reverse here? Tell us. <laughs> I was just saying, right? Why am I not surprised that I didn't see the temperance here? Yeah, there's this, there's this huge waiting game going on. You know, it is. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. They come, They make you wait. come back they're coming back but because they're not gonna let you go okay they they, they are very um they're hell-bent on not letting this relationship end okay they don't want this to be over here they're gonna give up with the strength and reverse here they were holding back they're gonna let that go okay they're going to surrender they're no longer gonna be holding back i mean it's a situation that's exhausting them uh and Emotionally also, right? They're running on fumes right now. They're nervous and scared to take action is what I'm getting here. They can't hold back, but when it comes to making that bold move to come towards you and take that action, I think they're not still being able to do it because with the temperance here, there is a reconciliation. There is something that's going on behind the scenes here, okay? But my problem is that is, are you ready to wait for this person? Because I constantly keep seeing here that they will. They are coming towards you. They're wanting to come towards you with that long-term commitment out here, okay? But with that tower here, there is something shocking that's happening. But I feel that shock is not going to be for you. It's going to be for them. Because you have a huge realization, a huge epiphany, like, fuck, do I really need this person? Like, what am I doing? It's like, you know, do I really want to wait for this person? I have a lot of options. I can go, you know, um, 
explore my options. It's like you don't want to explore your options, but you have no choice but to explore them is what I'm getting. But yeah, there's something that happens and this person comes towards you all of a sudden. I just don't know how, um, how well you're going to take it. Okay. But that's what I see here. Okay. That's what I see here. Hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time.